hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am starting off the vlog this week because you can hear a little squeaky person in the back hello i stole my dog for the week So we're gonna vlog together and see what we get up to, but I thought I'd just share us on our first part of our journey, but Molly really wants to get out, so I'm gonna just stop this clip here. But yeah, welcome to the vlog where I steal my dog. Where is she? There she is. Good morning, everyone. So, uh, no Molly. So last night um, I brought Molly to Manchester for the week. She's on her holidays, kind of. Maybe we might keep her forever. She does keep telling me that she's absolutely loving it here. So, but yeah, we took her on a quick walk, me and Brad, but it got dark really quick, so you couldn't really see anything. Um, but yeah. We're up nice and early. Do you know what? It's so nice having a dog to like get you out in the morning, get you out up and going. Like me, me and Molly just chilling on a cute little hot girl walk. Well, I got really awkward then because the jogger came past, so I just quickly um, turned the camera off. But yeah, me and Molly's on a walk. She's spending the day with Brad today whilst I go off to work. But I'll let you know exactly what we get up to with a little Molly visitor. So I haven't actually done as much filming as I would have liked to have done so far but me, Molly and Brad have just been chilling, um, we've been on so many nice walks, we've tried all the walks like round near our house now, um, well I think anyway I don't think there's many others that we can kind of try. Hopefully you had a nice little montage of Molly, this is literally just an excuse for me to like put the videos of Molly somewhere that I always take because she's really cute. Um, she's just over there. We've just been on a walk this morning. Come here. Come here, what's this? Here she is. Come on. Come here. Okay, go back. Oh. I don't know how you've got all this energy. We've just been on a 45 minute walk. Hey, look at you. <laughs> um, this is Scruffy. Do you want it? But yeah, what I found is like having a dog around just really helps you to get out the house. And um, I've been really enjoying our walks in the morning and just knowing that when I get home from work, like. I need to go straight out for a walk and things like that. She's luckily had Brad in the whole time, so she's not been left on her own at all, which is nice. Um, but I've got to go to work in a minute, um, which is sad, leaving her. I feel always sad. But yeah, it's been so much fun so far, and I've been loving having her here. So mum, dad, can I keep her? Yeah? Do you want to stay? Forever? I never? But anyway, we're going on another walk this evening. And then tomorrow, I'm actually going to take her into the city centre. Um, and she can like pretend to be an Ancoats dog. 
and <laughs> if anyone knows Manchester just like every everyone in Ancoats has a dog so we can pretend to be like that Molly. Oh, okay I feel overwhelmed by how bad my day has been <laughs> um basically I um took my car in for an MOT and it's ended up costing me all in all about a grand um and my car is literally four years old I bought it last year so just a bit you know but I just need to push that you know push that aside get on with life if you can hear Molly eating she's just having her dinner right there um but anyway, um, I'm meeting Charlie in town. Originally, I was going to drive us in, but looks like Molly's going to take her first ever trip on the train, and we need to leave soon. So I will show you what we get up to, and Molly really and truly being a city girl because we're getting the train into Manchester, and we're going to explore the city and not think about my MOT or the fact that I don't have a car right now because that's really upsetting. Molly get in ah okay she wants to play <laughs> obviously okay <laughs> oh okay she's bloody strong for a 14 year old jumping on just did a little workout with my bestie Claire our heads not our heads, my head, because, um, again, not had the best news. I don't, ugh, I can't pick up my car today. So we were meant to be going to games night, me and Molly. Um, but it just doesn't seem doable because we'd have to get the train, then the tram there, and then the train, then the tram back. And I just don't want to do that to Molly and it will take ages and I just don't think it's kind of doable. And I just don't really... Sorry Molly if you wanted to get get your cards on and you know play some articulate but we're just not going to be able to do that tonight. But she was really really good yesterday that's why I jumped on anyway because yesterday um, we went out to die cast with Charlie it was really nice to see Charlie Charlie loves Molly as well so it's so nice to um, kind of spend some time let Molly see the big city because uh, she's a city girl. Anyway, back to having no car, it now means that, um, look at her, I can't technically take her home tomorrow. So does that mean we've got her for an extra week? Possibly. I need to confirm with the old parents, but we might have you for another week, Molly. Found myself smiling more. The moment you leave, I feel down again I talk to myself on the floor just to feel less alone I swear that I'm trying my best 
You tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend I wonder where I'll end up next on the corner of home So much better um, than just walking on your own, like walking with a dog. Um, but anyway, <laughs> when I was about to leave the house, I literally thought, oh, I'll drive and take Molly to a really nice park. And then I looked outside and remembered I didn't have my car. So it's the country park. Me and you, once again, we've absolutely rinsed this country park by this point. But that's absolutely fine. I keep taking cute videos of Molly and then she will just do something like we or something in the background. Bit annoying, but she's so cute. So hold my hands out for a minute. I let you know when to let go. You give a little love with a little sun everywhere you go, everywhere you run. You never say a word, even when it hurts, everywhere you go, everywhere you smile. You make it look easy. It's Molly. Hello. Hi, bestie. So, oh, off she goes. <laughs> So it's actually Molly's last night tonight with us. I didn't film as much as I wanted to and I actually didn't get around to going to some of the parks that I wanted to either. Um, so that is such a shame, but it just means, oh, okay. It just, <laughs> it just means that she has to come and stay again so I can do another video. But yeah, I know it's kind of been a bit mundane this vlog is that the word but like i have loved this week with molly it i don't know just like thinking about giving her back to my parents um it just makes me sad um i don't want her to go i don't think she wants to go uh so personally i think she should stay here but everybody misses molly because she's probably the best dog in the world um so it's only fair that i give her back <laughs> She's got like the eight o'clock zoomies or something, I swear. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been so fun. Also, I just keep noticing these sunflowers that I bought like days ago and they still haven't bloomed because apparently they need sun, which it you would think by the name, I would have thought that, but I didn't and they've not bloomed and they're rubbish. But anyway, that is besides the point. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching our little vlog of what me and Molly kind of got up to in Manchester and just kind of a little bit of a weekly vlog. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We love you all. Don't we, Molly? Thank you for watching us. 